Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ages Plays Valhalla. So, we're currently on episode 41. Previous episode we made the fireplace for ourselves. So that we can cook and sleep inside, everything's lacquer. We made our story room outside here. Mini little castle effect. With obviously all our chests, I will be adding more chests as time goes on. We did a metal or a tin and a coal collection for wood, wood and tin. We now lack a head in that department. I'm busy melting as much coal as I can get. But we're going to head back into the swamp in a moment. Because now I've got decent food as well. Okay, what do I need? Well, mince meats. But I do need to take a stamina one with me as well so let's see I've got plenty of carrot plenty of deer I should have some carrot here I'll have more carrot There we go. Okay, let's head out. We need to. Oh, also got my weight belt so I can carry more. So let's repair my cart because they do get damaged in the rain. Especially that one, because that one goes on a long journey. We were going to... Uh, board the road in this episode, but I've decided I want to get more iron. It's like a better priority. So like before, we just destroy one. And away we go. But we have cleared more of the wood away here. Because I was gathering wood, I was gathering stone like crazy in the previous video. So you know, it's just like I haven't built the path, but I've definitely cleared the path. And I've got a little grayling pushing me, but I want to deer more. I need to get as much uh, deer hide and deer meat as I can get for the moment. I need to make more deer stew. See, this is why I needed a stamina. Uh, 
the food, but my other food's still got a like, long cooldown. Because this journey is, is a little bit on the long side. <laughs> Trying to pull this wagon without any stamina is quite difficult. <laughs> like what I may do just to do it, make the journey shorter. See if I can build across that way. Even though I've done the road and everything that connects to this side. I do want to cut off a bit of time because this is a bit of a, a windy road that I built. Up the stairs, brum, brum, brum. got to run up those. Also, I won't make them as we discovered in the previous video. I nearly didn't make the, the ability to get up the main stairs. My sign that says to me, I must turn right here. <coughs> yeah, these days were a little bit on the steep side. So I gotta build this like bridge path, whatever you wanna call it, on the other on the other base to make this more easier. I'm gonna need to chop some wood before we head out. Because we need to reball that little outpost up a bit. Just outside the mine so I can continue mining in there. a friend. There's two friends. Where'd he go? Why do you run away from me? There's probably a lot of them sitting right here because I kind of pulled them all here. Here you come, hit me again, hit me again. Well, reset our spawn point. Let's have a nap. This little outpost is actually quite rubbish, but. It's it's serving me very well for this this area. Okay, anything that I'm carrying. Rude. I 
Yeah, see, now that I've got... Uh, see, that's where I left my cultivator and stuff. Okay, let's do this. That can stay. I never need those. I've filled it up already and I haven't even gone down yet. If that stuff is still there when I come back, we definitely do not need resin. Don't need those either. We'll throw them more away as, as I go in deeper. Okay, let's go. So we still have to clear out that mine there. Let's remove these, these death symbols so that I can get my new ones if I die. Oh great, now I've got the hoe and caliber on me. Let's just remember there is an abomination walking around here. I don't know where he is. But there is one. Uh, I'm in trouble. What the hell again? I just need to slow them down so I can kill him. The blob can follow me up here. But I just needed to get him and not for me to kill him. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the skeletons. So these things are I worry about. So we haven't even made it anywhere near this thing and I'm already having issues. But luckily this time I brought food. That helps with fighting these things. I want to kill the spawner. Oh, my word. Two star dragger. There's no way I can fight him. Oh, well, I can't fight him, but I'm not prepared to fight him. I just saw like one hit from him and my health just went boop. Yeah, like that's that. So I want to get here. Oh, great. Not what I wanted. I want to be able to shoot him.
Definitely not what I wanted, but luckily the spawn point's right here. I wanted to destroy the spawner so that I could stop having to fight so many of these things, and there just happens to be a damn two-star one. How's that for bad luck? Oh, the little blobbies sitting on my on my corpse. Stop jumping when I shoot. There we are. Okay, poison's over. Corpse run. Just waiting for that thing to switch off. Now where'd that two star go? See, this always makes the damn thing difficult. Like, there's a blobby here. Oh, it's a skeleton. It's like the actual getting there is not hard, it's surviving to get there that makes it hard. Is that my two star friend? Oh, come on, I've got no stamina again. I don't want to take a hit from him. I want to hit him. Haha, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Two stars dead. Okay, let's get our stamina up. Then we're going to rush that spawner. Charge! Oh crap, there's another spawner. Okay, let's pull that. Got one spawner. So there'll be one less. Uh, of course it's elite. Nice. Okay, now i got to be quick. Not that I have any stamina to be quick. Oh, I'm out of stamina already. Oh, crap, see, I didn't have enough time. Of course, I don't have any health left because that archer got me twice. There's the archer. Yeah. 
There you go, your spawn is dead. Now you can kill me. <laughs> Not that I want to die, but I wanted to make sure they can't respawn. With them not able to respawn, there's less for me to fight off. They'll still respawn naturally, but there won't be like a hectic spawn now. Okay, so the reason why I wanted all the wood, we got to build ourselves a little outpost here. I need the slot to Because what happened last time is they destroyed my... storages and now we've got a little place to hide like so and I really don't want all this other stuff I've picked up so that can be dumped that can be dumped that that and that <coughs> so we need to finish going this way. I should have brought my other pick with me, so we could have gone further. So I never finished that path, and there was a room that we went in here. I left the dragger alive. Having this weight belt is helping me a lot already. Throw that, throw that out. Okay, so there's more to this path. Like I did in the previous video, we don't want to go all the way through. We just want a gap so that I can see what's on the other side. Because like we can hear the blobbies and stuff. So there we go, we can now see them. Now I can... Oh, look at that little archer. Oh, there's a lot of them on that side. I want to kill that archer. Okay, archer's down. Seriously? There we go. Okay, let's just wait for my stem to go up. So I can get a bit more of an angle in here. Okay, he's dead. He didn't like that. He's dead too. Is that the room cleared? Looks like it. OK, 
Okay, so we don't need that. That we can dump. Yeah, since we can't really dive, I just want to see what was in there. Chain we need, wood we don't really need. There's another mine. Okay, this was a dead end one. Okay, so it's showing me that I'm now weighted. how much quite a bit there we go not that I really want to throw wood away but but how much do we get see compared to only me able to carry 23 to now carrying 34 with other stuff this weight belt is helping me a span you know okay there's the exit And it'll also mean for me getting back and forth will be way easier as well. Okay, so there was a path that went this way. There's one in this room too. No, there's not. Okay, this wasn't a path, it just looked like one. Oh, there's a path. Pop my head in there. No, nothing. Okay, nothing here. Even if I swim in here. Yep, no, nothing. So we finished that path. Let's now go this way. See, they got it clever here. Oh, man. Some of these dungeons, like, I got used to not being able to run underneath the water. And now over here, I can't. Oh, poison arrows, knock and crop poison arrows, nice. Okay, so there's a path there, and this just looks like a random one. So I don't want to spend too long hitting the wall, because the wall damages my pickaxe. So even if there's a little bit on the wall, I'm not too stressed about it, like that. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, so this was a tiny little hole. Okay, we can see that there's a blobby behind there. Also an archer. Oh, he got the first shot. Oh man. Yeah, let's recharge my stem. Let's 
Let's get this piece here. So that I can get in here a little bit deeper. See, I don't want to rush in there. And there's a spawner. Arrows aren't good for killing spawners, guys. Messina. But I want to try and get rid of the... Yeah, spawner's gone. They're still there, but they're in a place where I can't get them. No, oh, but they can get me, apparently. Yeah, I got a few good shots into the blubby. I'm in trouble. See, I wanted to get them out the damn corner here so I can shoot them. More than what they can shoot me. Especially that guy. One more hit. Technically, I also have only one more hit on me. Nice. Was an intentional one shot him, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Okay, let's take our spoils to the surface. See, now that we got the right tools, look how easy it is. <coughs> yeah, I don't need the wish bones. And this is only a, a one upgrade on the on the pickaxe. This looks like a dead end. Yep, dead end. See, there's a little bit there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We've got that other whole room. No, this was the last room. Okay, so this was the last room, so this means this place is finished. Let's just do a quick once over. Make sure we've got everything. Yeah, there's nothing in there. I don't need to go swimming again. That was a dead end. So I like to do once-overs before I leave. Because just now I did miss something. See, back there. Didn't even see that one. Nope, I didn't yield me anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we nailed that one. What was that? The leather scripts. We don't need leather. That was dead end. And both dead ends. Okay, cool. So that's us done with this dungeon. I can now mark this one as complete. Now to take our spoils back to our camp. That's the hard part, surviving the forest, I mean the swamp. Get our stamina up. At least with that spawner gone, it'll be way easier. Let's see how many are there. Okay, so I can carry 34. See if I can do 35. No. Nope. So we got to do this now. And three trips. What I'll do is I'll strip naked when I get to the our base camp there. To lessen even more weight. See, already with that spawner gone, it's stuck way better. But there is a second spawner nearby. Let's just make sure I don't run into that one. All oh, these nice thistles. See, I killed the spawner. Okay, there's a blub. Uh, and this is the worst one. It's not just a blub, it's an ooze. That's what I like the users. They multiply. See, now I've got two little blubbies after me. But as you can see, now that I've got the this iron axe, right? I can stun the droggers, I can maneuver around them. Hey, come pull the axe. I know you're a cool Viking and everything, but move your axe. Okay, so our base is over here. Probably I need to put more wood in the. No, I don't. But I hear lots of gratings. I can't sleep. Well, no point trying to sleep now. It's daytime. So I, I said to I want to strip naked to do this run, right? I just keep picking up more and more rubbish. Why? Because I'm killing so much here.
Okay, so we're going to strip naked so we can get more weight on us. Let me just remember. I need that. Take one stack of arrows, put that one away. Like I said, naked run. We should be able to carry all that. Just remember, I must just remember, I can't take a hit. From anything now. But look how fast I can move, no stamina drain. Well, there's a little bit of stamina drain, but not as hectic as it was. Oh, there's a little dragger. I wanted to kill him before he killed me. There's those blobs. Now I don't have my axe with, I mean my bow, so I can't shoot them. It's not the best idea to run through the the swamp naked, but I want to get as much of this carried through as possible. The only reason I kept my cape on is because it offers me a little bit of stealth. Not much. But uh, enough to... See, even with all this extra weight removed... Rude, Mr. Skellington. I know you're after me, but damn, it's rude. Okay. How much are we leaving behind? Oof, seven. We're going to have to come back. Like, if it was, say, three or four, yeah. I forgot I had this. Less stamina drain on running and jumping. leeches there. Well, there's always leeches in the water, but I wanted to... <coughs> I ran right past that base. We must go get that lost, but I did grab all the gear because we're pretty much done. We just need to get that seven that's lying there. And I've still got speedrun powers. I 
kind of jump out. Oh, I, I made it. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to make that jump. So we're going to go here. Oh, that managed to hit me. Okay, there's a leech there. Okay, this is the last run. I will stop the video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. I will pick it up as we're about to leave this area. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.